Hey, what's up guys, Arab here, and welcome back to the episode of my F1 2019 Manager Career Mode here with Red Bull for round number 7 here today at the British Grand Prix at Guildford. If you guys did miss the previous one, then be sure to go check the one out before you see this one. But head into uh, this one then, uh, a bit of a different dynamic now, because now in the championship, the Stappen and Verline are 1 and 2, and, uh, well, last time I gave them equal-ish kind of cars, pretty much as, as much as we could, and uh, Verstappen did a, a great job from a higher grid slot there. Verline had to come back and did well to come back for P2, and so I'm not too sure sure how this one is going to go to me. It really depends on how the random grid goes. Um, but, you know, we might be now starting to see for the rest of the season, it might just be Verlaine v Verstappen because the Ferrari guys have dropped off a little bit. They were right there at the start of the season, but they haven't really turned up in the last few episodes. And um, Mercedes have been there or thereabouts, but at the same time we've been able to overtake them in most of the scenarios. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting one. I'm not actually sure how the rest of the season will actually genuinely go. So we'll see. We'll see how, how things uh, peter out. But uh, we've got some interviews after the last Grand Prix. Which one's better? Um, I'm just going to say Verlein this time. It doesn't matter really. Either way, it doesn't affect the other driver. There you go. Hard fought win for Verstappen. Pit crew should still all be good. I'm going to assume. Uh, I'll just assume that. So, although to be fair, wow, this guy's pretty good actually. He's a jack of all trades here. Let's hire him. Can we replace someone who's, uh, who's maybe lacking in the... Uh, whoever we got on the front jack... Maybe. I want to uh, see who we've got. Uh, a 19 on the front jack. 19 front jack there. See, you see, you see the thing is, I've just got a solid... Yeah, no, you know what? I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got such a solid pit crew. There's no point in hiring anyone new, really. And the auto system has done a treat. Honestly, I know some people said it in the comments below in a long, a long time ago, but... I probably should have just done auto all along. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I kind of like the fact that I had to make all the decisions to, you know, you know, make sure everything was fine. But at the same time, it's making my life a lot easier. Uh, but the car-wise, we are building suspension. I actually forgot about that because uh, the last episode was two days ago. Uh, suspension. So we're building that. That'll take seven. That's going to take quite a long time, actually. That might not actually come in by the time we go to uh, Guildford, will it? No, it won't, actually. So we'll have no new parts here for this episode. But we're going to move on then. Car repair will be done. I'm pretty sure our car is in a very good spot there. Oh, we've got new sponsors to do. Okay, exciting. Slot five. Where is that? That's on the side of the car. Right, uh, slot number five. We've got the... the what? we got the BBC. Okay, I don't want to lie. Isn't that, like, bias? Because, like, you know, the B I know the BBC doesn't do live coverage anymore of F1, but they are a news outlet, and they're going to sponsor a team. That's I feel like that's a little bit fishy, but they are a five-star sponsor. But that's upfront payment. Roush, upfront payment. Credit one is target position. Um, our target position, obviously, is only going to last for one more race here. That's 1.2 million per race. That is only 600k. That's pathetic. Um, I can't remember. Did the last sponsor we had have upfront payment as well? I think they might have. So let's just go for BBC, I guess. 12 races. Um, or should we wait? You know what? I, I, I think we should wait. You know, we don't need to. We're not desperate for money. So let's just wait one race and see how things go, to be honest. So we'll move forward then. We've got a political vote coming up. Refueling, this is. What is this? Because we've already got refueling here. Uh, refueling using 80 kilogram tanks. So fuel tanks can last up to 80% of the race distance. They need to... Okay, so right now we've got a fuel tank that only lasts maybe 40%, so we have to make a two-stop. This is refueling, but a bit of a bigger tank. Um, I would be up for that, to be honest. I would be up for that, actually, because I like refueling. I like the dynamic of refueling, but I don't like the fact that literally every race is now a two-stop because of the refueling amount and the tire wear is not much of an issue. So I would be inclined to actually go for that. So I'm going to vote two, uh, two voting power for this. Because I, I, I would actually like that, to be fair. So we still have refueling for next season. But it's a little bit less dependent. Uh, and it looks like we might go four. There we go. 11 to 5 votes. So refueling will still be a thing next season. But it won't be like this season where literally the tyre strategy is determined by the fu uh, fuel we need to put on. So next season could be even more interesting in terms of there will be tyre wear involved as well as the fuel tank. Like well, you might have to try and stretch the tyres to the point where you want to fill up the fuel rather than right now we just push the tyres flat out because we know we're going to have to pit anyway. Um, so that's pr I think that's good. That's a good step forward actually. Um, so we're going to move forward. Report. Guildford, only 20% chance of rain. That's a bit surprising, being the UK, but there we go. 
Uh, we've got an email for top end speed. I'm going to guess they're just happy with it. Yeah, yeah. Verstappen's happy with the top end speed. That's good. I forgot to actually check the car and check what we're doing on improvements on reliability and the speed. But I'm sure it's all fine. We've got to that point in the season now where our car is looking very, very decent on most things. Yeah, we're not even doing any reliability. We probably should do. Uh, may as well on some things like the gearbox. Uh, we're not using this gearbox, are we? Uh, no, we're using these two. Um, suspension's done. Re that rear wing could get done. And then that brake set could get done. But I'll move that to 33-2. But we'll move on then pretty much straight away to Guildford, the British GP. Uh, oh, no. Partial eye problems. What? Okay. Verlan's got some issues. He's, got undergone, he's undergone a corrective surgery. That's not good. Uh, he's still four stars, though. Porsche team upgrade their factory. Okay. Right, so we move on then. Driver injury. Verline, he's four stars, but he's actually now worse than Gasly. And that's a three-week issue. I think we're going to have to leave him at home, to be honest, because Gasly could do a better job than Verline in the car now. Because you can see that, that that little slither there will guarantee that Gasly will be better than Verline in the car. And also, I want him to kind of recover quicker, because obviously he is in the championship fight. So it can be better if he recovered just straight away for next race. So uh, it's a tough decision, but I'm going to say leave at home. We're going to take in Gasly. Also, to be fair, you know, this is a perfect kind of scenario for Gasly to step in. You know, I feel a little bit harsh that we made him a reserve driver. So he was, he's going to step in here and do a job, hopefully. A temporary driver. Uh, I don't have any expectations of him, just as long as he does an okay job, I guess. Uh, but tire wear is very high. So we'll take in uh, five sets of super softs. We'll take in six. Well, to be, it doesn't matter if it's high because... Uh, the refueling will come into play. So we'll take in three sets of mediums. So five, seven, three. That's fine. Fit parts, right. Um, because he's a reserve driver, I kind of am inclined to give Verstappen the better parts overall. So Verstappen, Verstappen. I'll give Gasly the better front wing. I'll give Verstappen the better gearbox. I'll give Gasly the better... I'll give ba Gasly the better wings. And then I'll give Verstappen the best um, everything else pretty much. So... Obviously, he's unsure. He doesn't care because he's, he's a temporary driver. So, let's just move in. Okay. So, that's uh, something I didn't think was going to happen there. But there we go. We're moving to the British Grand Prix with Verstappen and Gasly as a sub-in. Right in true British fashion, 20% rain is enough, apparently, because it is raining right now in practice. So, a little bit of light rain. So, you're going to have to send them out in inters right now just to get a quick setup done. I guess it... Oh, no. It's not too much of an issue. We'll send them out do this setup on Inters and then switch to the tyres we need to do for the rest of it because it looks like it's not going to rain for the rest of the practice session. But, okay, it looks like I was proven wrong there. I was pretty much adamant it, was, it wasn't going to rain then. Um, but here we are then. Very odd, very, very odd to see Gasly in this new car here. Obviously, he's he's not even driven the Red Bull Porsche-driven uh, powered car here. So, very odd sight, but there he is. Right, seems like the feedback's okay. Oh, brilliant there. Three excellent for Verstappen off the bat, and pretty good for Gasly. A little bit of tweaking needed for him. Not surprising, though. Like I said, he's never driven the car, so I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't absolutely perfect spot on here. But, okay, a little bit of tweaking needed. Maybe a little bit more downforce. Handling-wise, though, I don't know where to go. Usually, Guildford tends towards more hard suspension. So I'm going to go towards understeer there. Speed balance, I'm not too sure, so I'll leave it where it is. I'll go for another quick lap with Gasly, even though the rain's coming down now. But I'll quickly send him out, do one little lap, and then uh, bring him in to change that. Meanwhile, for Verstappen, I'll send him out now on uh, a good long stint on, well, Super Softs go 22, 24, 38, 40. The race will probably only be... Like, what, 60 laps? So, probably could afford to just go on super softs, really, the entire race, I would say. But also, the tire wear is high, so we might want to play a little safe. So, I'm going to go on soft tire. I'm going to play it safe and get soft tire lodge at the start here. Um, just because I'm not 100% sure. And Gasly's coming back in. Ah, uh, wrong direction then on the setup then for Gasly. So, that's a little bit annoying. Not, not surprising that we have to be a bit more fiddly with him. Right, so we're going to go lower downforce then. Um, and go the other way and see how that works out. And handling-wise was okay. That was good. That was okay. So go the other way there. Right, Gasly's in. He's now two excellence, uh, two greats and one excellence. So looking pretty damn good. 97%. Very, very nice. We've got nearly level three in the soft tire. So I'm going to go on to Super Sauce now. And it looks like uh, Gasly is um, a little bit quicker than Verline getting some knowledge through. I feel like it has gone a little bit quicker. So let's go Super Sauce now. Verstappen will finish that off on this lap. Soft tires. There we go. He'll come in. And I'll quickly try and bang in some knowledge on the Super Soft. Might just get level two on the Super Soft to give us some options here. Eight laps. Supers. Go, go, go. Looking pretty good. Gasly's not too bad, actually. He's uh, 
What's that? He's about six tenths off Verstappen, but to say we've given him a uh, mostly better car, Verstappen, uh, Gasly's not too far off the pace and kind of in the mix there. Ferrari's looking pretty good on race pace here, it would seem, on practice pace at least. So we'll see how that goes in the race. Um, but uh, for us right now, looking pretty good. Uh, four minutes to go. Yeah, I think probably only level two on super softs, which is still pretty decent, I think. But I think inevitably I'll probably choose soft half for the knowledge. Right, all sunny for the race, and Verstappen's down in P17. Gasly gets a P9 grid slot there, so not too bad. Uh, in terms of the tyres, then, like I said, probably will take in the soft tyre just to be safe. It's a 51 lap race, um, so the soft tyres do go a very decent chunk of the way. But we did actually get level 3 on super softs, so we could do super softs. Uh, let me quickly check. We've got 22 laps, so that's easily a two-stop, and the tank won't be... The tank will be 21 laps. So actually, yeah, it's going to be the super soft. So actually, really good we actually got that knowledge. And like I said, yeah, for some reason, it actually looks like Gasly has better feedback than Verline in terms of the tire knowledge. Even though I'm pretty sure Verline has 14 feedback along with Verstappen, and Gasly only has 13 on the stat number. But in reality, it, you know, Gasly's uh, and Verstappen as a pairing have got level 3 super soft, so we aren't able to do that with Verline. So that's pretty good, actually. Uh, so yeah, we'll be making a two-stop then on two sets of super softs. Uh, attack, attack, overtake, overtake. So this could be quite good, actually. Very aggressive uh, race then today. From P9 and 17, Verstappen has a plenty. Uh, Verstappen has plenty of recovering to do. Gasly P9 just got to go out there and do the best job we can and try and stop these Ferrari and Mercedes guys scoring too many points on us in the constructors and drivers championship. But uh, uh, where are they? That's the question. Hamilton is P2, so he has a very good chance. Vettel and the Renault is P1. Rossi's there in P3, so uh, I think Hamilton and Rossi have a very good chance of doing well this race, unfortunately. Uh, hours in P, what's that, 7? Uh, where is the other man, Da Costa? Where is Da Costa? Da Costa, Da Costa, all the way at the back, 23rd. So that's, that's at least one drive we don't need to worry about. But Hamilton and Rossi have a very good chance of doing well at the very start with uh, not much uh, traffic in front of them at the very start of this race. But we'll get into it then. Here we go then to five red lights to the British GP with Verstappen P17, Gasly P9. Five lights are out and we're underway. It's a good start for our sub in Gasly there. Verstappen also jumps up into P15. Let's see this. We fast forward. Let's see what they can do, what Gasly can do in this car. Up into P8, P7. He's overtaking both Mercs maybe nearly. Here we go to the right-hand side of Hamilton. Hamilton's had a poor start from P3. He's dropped down to P5 and that will be P7 as we overtake with three wide with the McLaren. There, very cool stuff there. Awesome racing, and Gasly's doing the best job he can of going down the inside. Rossi, meanwhile, is just about uh, trying to overtake Ericsson there, but he's uh, having difficulties. Meanwhile, Verstappen's up into P8, so Verstappen's had a mega start there, and he's already right by Gasly, no surprise. But for now, Hamilton does fend off Gasly, we're unable to get him. But now, let's use some ERS, shall we, and try and push on if we can. Come on, there we go, using that ERS to good use, and we're up into P4 there with Gasly ahead of Hamilton. Verstappen's P6, so soon enough he should be able to close up to Hamilton as well. Let's do some ERS, more ERS here. Try and close up on Hamilton. There we go. Get past that Audi as well. We're up into P3, P4 respectively. Now let's use the ERS with Gasly and try and get that Ferrari if we can. Down the inside, round the outside of the Ferrari. Up into P2. Lovely stuff. Go auto, auto there. Right, Verstappen, what are we saying? Let's use some ERS for you as well on the end of the lap, I think. As we go through, coming through... Tires overheating a little bit now. Let's use that ERS though. Get past. There we go. Lovely. Right. Now let's conserve these tires and bring them back down to temperature. And also the fuel. Let's bring that down. 16 laps to go though. Four laps gone. 21 laps. Pretty much exactly what we need. And Gasly. Oh my god. Didn't even see it. Gasly's up into P1 now. He's overtaking Vettel. What is this? Is the sub-in driver going to win the Grand Prix? This would be mad. Uh, and in a worse car than Verstappen for sure. Madness. Right. Vettel. V Verstappen, what's he going to do? Can we use some ERS? Yeah, let's use some ERS at the end of this lab. Try and get past him if we can. Right, use ERS off that chicane. Can we close up? Not closing up enough, though. So I'm going to have to stop that and I go auto. Right, Verstappen's being re-chased down by the Ferrari car and Hamilton. Rossi and Hamilton side by side. They're trying to go either side of Verstappen here. So they're getting very, very close. But we're also, getting, uh, we're also gaining on the Renault. But oh my god, look how much uh, Hamilton slipped by there. I think we need, now need to go overtake mode and really push again. Try and get past these cars because it's getting a little bit too close for comfort. So here we go, pushing again past Hamilton and Vettel finally. And now we're back up into second place where we should hopefully stay put. But Hamilton's looking very good there, to be fair. He's really pushing us. And Gasly's only 1.4 up the road. So it's close. Hamilton again taxes, attacks us, but it's okay right now. It's okay. It's calm. 
It's calm. Stay in P2. Right. We need to get to P... Uh, I need to get to lap 21, obviously, ideally. Fuel-wise, we should be good for both drivers. And you go down to medium for gas. They're actually burning a little bit too much fuel. As that, that'll be lap 19 only. So let's uh, calm things down there for him. Right, Hamilton's just overtaken us there. He's uh, not on low fuel, I'm pretty sure. Whereas we are... Well, now he's on low fuel. We, we, were, we were on low fuel, but now uh, we're on, on neutral there. But Hamilton's able to get us. So we're down to P3. Uh, but we're right there still with Hamilton, so that's fine. And we're 3.4 ahead with Gasly, and we're saving a lot of fuel with Gasly, so we're looking much better with him. Uh, and much like we've seen before in the past and last season, when Gasly's in P1, he can be a very good driver at controlling the race. He's got a lot of ERS to play with as well, whereas Verstappen does not. But I'm going to start pushing the tyres a little bit more with Verstappen and use some ERS, trying to get close back up to Hamilton if we can. Right, Verstappen's been closed down by Rossi, and Rossi's just got past us there with ERS, so Verstappen's losing some major pace here. I'm very surprised. I don't know what's going on here, because Gasly, all he has is the better wings, so that might obviously play into it, but I think I feel like our engine should be a resounding overall factor here. But even now, Gasly's being caught up here, so initially it looked like we had some really good pace here, but now in the last stages of the stints, the race pace just really isn't there, it looks like, because Hamilton is very much closing up with us. I mean, we're using auto ERS there. Gassy's pushing away and keeping ahead for now. We've still got to, got to go five laps here to the pit stop, so it's uh, intriguing here, but Verstappen has been overtaken by Rossi, fair and square, and De Costa might even close us up here, so uh, looks like we're on the back foot a little bit this race. I can't lie, because we've only got uh, three laps worth of fuel here with Verstappen. Uh, let's push the tyres a bit more now, but it's, uh, it's going to be fine. And, oh, Bottas has crashed in the Renault there. But as I was about to say that, Verstappen's been overtaken by Da Costa. So, I don't know what's happening here. All these guys just have a lot of ERS compared to us, I think. Right, pitting in this lap with both drivers. Going to fill up the fuel, 21 laps. Uh, park condition's fine. Not going to recharge the battery. Fast pit stop there. Right, come in with Gasly. And there's enough of a gap where we can come in with Verstappen as well. So, let's save some ERS. Pit in as well. Supers, fill up. Park condition's good. No recharge, fast pit stop. Right, there should be enough time here. Right, Gasly, where are you, mate? Right, we're one-two again because Hamilton's pit earlier for medium tyres. Very weird. Right, Gasly's in. Good pit stop, please. No mistake on the refuel. Looking good. Looking good. Nice. And the double stack works beautifully. No mistake for Verstappen either. So we're back out in P3 now. We're ahead of Hamilton still with Gasly, so that's good. With Verstappen, where are we now? Uh, De Costa's just got ahead of us. So we will still be behind the Ferrari cars, it would seem. But now let's push on a little bit. Let's go medium fuel, but push on the tyres. Because uh, the fuel was the kind of uh, limiting factor there, really, for us last time. Right, so we did jump Rossi. So De Costa also jumped him as well. So Rossi just on the overcut didn't work very well for him. So he's uh, down in P5 then. So now we've got to try and do a job of catching back up to De Costa. He's only two seconds ahead of us. Then there's five seconds to Hamilton, but he's on medium tyres. So that's the only difference there. So let's go high fuel. Push this a little bit more. Let's see what we can do here. Right, we'll close up on Rossi a little bit. Don't want to burn too much fuel, though. That's the thing. He's on full-out attack mode right now. We're not, so we're going to conserve our tyres a little bit more. Right, Gassi's been overtaken by Hamilton. I didn't see the overtake because I was focusing on Verstappen here, but I'm assuming he used ERS. He's on medium, so obviously he's pushing harder to overtake him, but we just re-overtook him there. Gassi round the outside. Lovely stuff there. Good battling there from Gasly. Good stuff for the auto ERS. He's on conserve as well. That's another thing you've got to remember. Let's go high. I think we can't afford to burn more fuel than we've got. Because we go 12 laps. We've got 23 laps remaining. So there'll be only 12 laps left. So we're actually fine on fuel, I think. We should be good to pit a little bit earlier, actually, in fact. So I'm going to start pushing with Verstappen as well. And try and catch up to DaCosta if I can. Right, Sierra lap 34. Gasly still in first place here. Looking pretty good. Um, 2.6 ahead of Hamilton. So Hamilton did push. And had some pace, but now I think he's blown his tyres a little bit too much on the mediums to try and go to the end of the Grand Prix. Uh, De Costa is two seconds ahead of us, so we are catching him. It's just the fact that the tyre wear is a little bit iffy, but at the same time, we will be pitting pretty soon, I would say. So, may as well actually burn more fuel. Let's go for it. Lando Norris has crashed. Oh, safety car. Safety car. Lando Norris has just crashed. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, calm things down. Right. Going to have to make a free pit stop then for both drivers. Pit in. Super sauce. Fuel option. We've got 17 laps remaining. Let's go for um, uh, 70. Let's go for 18 point. Ah, okay, 19. Yeah, 19 laps. Yeah. No recharge fast. Come in. Right. Yeah, we're going to pit you in as well, mate. Don't worry. Fuel options. Right. Fill up. 
20 laps of fuel. Yeah, I want the extra fuel with Verstappen because I need to push hard. The engine is worn, but I need to push hard with him. Right, Gasly's in. I hope this we can double stack this. They've got... Ooh, it's going to be close, I think. It's going to be very close. Come on, there we go. Lovely. Double stack's worked. Verstappen's in. Everyone's going to get a free pit stop here, though, at the end of this race. So everyone is now on super soft. It's going to be a sprint race to the end in this last stint, basically. Right, safety guys heading to the garage. going to go attacking and overtake mode for both drivers here, pushing really hard on this restart here. And I'm going to go manually with Verstappen and just click charge as soon as we get going here. So come on, let's speed this up a little bit. I'm going to wait for the green and then straight away hit ERS off the chicane. Here we go. Use all the ERS for Verstappen. Let's get past these cars earlier than uh, later. Come on, three wide there. Amazing racing there. Three wide between those two. And there's still three wide, still neck and neck. Verstappen's used all his ERS though. And he's in uh, P4 there. Gassi's now being attacked by Hamilton and Rossi with a lot of ERS. Oh no, it's all going wrong here. At the end of this stint, at the end of this race, they've got a lot of ERS to play around with. We just don't have as much. And so Gassi down to P2, Verstappen P4. Is that maybe blown? I don't know. One second there, the gap to Hamilton. Let's keep on pushing. Come on, keep chasing. Rossi, uh, DeCosta's right behind Gassi though. And he's looking like he's going to make a move. No, please no. Come on, what's happening here? Where's the pace gone? Where's our race pace gone? We're down to third now. Leclerc's crash now. The Williams car. Unsurprising in the Williams. But we're now third and fourth. What's going on here? Hamilton DeCosta have come back at us majorly in a way I didn't, didn't think was going to be possible. Rossi's also now overtaken Verstappen there. It's absolutely good. It's just not gone the way I thought it was going to go. Oh, what? The safety guy's coming out again. Okay. Chance to calm things down then. And save that ERS. Safety car's out again for, uh, I think, Hulkenberg, I want to say. Did Hulk Yeah, Hulkenberg crashed. Where did he crash? Uh, he crashed. Ooh, that's uh, another heavy impact there for the Torosso man, the German. Right, safety guys out. So we go uh, conserving again. And Hamilton's pit again. What? Huh? Why, Hamilton? Why have you pit again? Okay, we're now gifted up into P2-3. Hamilton's still in P4, though, but I don't know why he pit onto another set of new soft tyres now, but okay. Right, interesting. Right, 10 laps to go. Going to go overtake mode now on the restart as the safety car heads to the garage. Tyres are nicely warmed up, so let's see. Come on, Gasly. Come on, Verstappen. Good exit here on the green. Go through the chicane. Here we go. There we go. Gasly with the ERS. Verstappen doesn't have any ERS to use, so he's not used any on the autopilot. And that means that Vettel and Hamilton are swamping us. We're down to P4. Might be P5, but Gasly, crucially, is up in first place. Mega job from him with uh, seven laps to go, eight laps to go. Verstappen's come back, though, and fought Hamilton back up into P4. Come on, mate. Keep going. Let's go for that attack, actually. Just wear the tyres out. I want to try and keep with these guys. No, we're just going backwards here. What's happening to our car? What's happening to Verstappen here? He's just going backwards. He's got no pace. The tyres are now going to wear out as well. Yellow flag's coming out. Meanwhile, Gasly, his tyre temp's looking pretty okay. He's uh, half a second ahead of De Costa. Is De Costa pushing as well? Yes, he is. We may as well push with him and just go, uh, uh, go uh, conserve when he does as well. All right, De Costa's overtaken us. Tires overheated now. Gonna have to go back to conserve. Oh, this is really frustrating. The AI just push. Uh, the AI can now conserving, but we've somehow just been overtaken by uh, De Costa and Hamilton's now right up. Our car's got no pace here. Our car really just has not suited Guildford. It seems like. Uh, Verstappen's down in P6 behind Hour and Vettel. We might come back at Hour though because the tire temps are in good working range. For oh, Hour spun in front of Verstappen there. He spun. He needs T-bone Verstappen. Verstappen's up into P5 though now. That's good at least, but. Gasly, where are you now, mate? You're still P2, just about there. Let's use some ERS, please. Try and stay ahead of Hamilton. Oh, it's not looking too great, though. Come on. Right, Hamilton's overtaken us. We're on backup mode with Gasly because I want to desperately try and bring these tire temps down because we've got two laps to go now. Right, lap 49. I'd say going to go on backup for a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, mate. Right, attack now. Use ERS. Let's get back into this fight. Same with Verstappen. Let's get back into this fight. Let's go. Gaining. Low fuel. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We don't have enough fuel to push. God damn it. Right, use the ERS though, mate. Use the ERS on the last lap. Come on. Come on. Verstappen, he's in P5. Can he close up on Vettel? No. There's too big of a gap to Vettel. And even Gassi can't. Ooh, Gassi might close up to Hamilton. You never know. But he's going to run out of fuel, maybe. Come on. Keep going. Low fuel for Verstappen. There's, <laughs> there's no fuel for Gasly, mate. Come on, keep going. No, gas. He's run out of fuel on the line. P5, P7. Ah, oh, it's a disaster. P8 for Gasly. Verstappen gets P4. Ah, oh, pushed it too much there at the end, but I only did that because I was desperate. Desperate. 
I don't know where the pace went. We did not have... The race pace was not there. It was not there. Unlike last episode where we dominated the Grand Prix with Verstappen, that, the race pace was not there. And De Costa came out. Hamilton came out. It just seemed like also our ERS. Like the AI seemed to have way more ERS to play around with than us. That was a tough one. That was a, a, a rare... The last few episodes have been pretty calm and easy for me. That was a real testing, testing episode. And we actually got our faces slapped pretty much by De Costa and Hamilton. And... Then the fluff at the end with the low fuel with Gasly. Ah, that's a bit annoying. Ah. So De Costa gets fast out of the Grand Prix. So championship-wise now, ooh, De Costa is one point behind Verstappen. And Verstappen's now 22 points behind Verline there. So it's closed up a little bit more than I would have liked. Construct is 35 points. So Ferrari and Merck have both got a decent chunk. Ferrari very much so a decent chunk on us there. But 35 still pretty okay. But we can't afford another race like that pretty much. We have to get back on the on the wagon next race when Verlan comes back hopefully. Uh, so that was a bit of a damage limitation race. And we didn't limit a lot of damage really to be honest with Gasly there having the fluff at the end there. Uh, that was unfortunate. But uh, you know to be fair actually we were probably due... Like a like a tough race like that because we've had very easy races for the last three four episodes there, uh, 1.8 million in the bank still so can't complain too much there, uh, but overall tough episode but like I said probably due. So guys if you did enjoy that episode be sure to smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I can already tell people are gonna have a go at me for messing up Gassy at the end there, but you know it, would it be a motorsport manager episode without me running out of fuel at the end? Probably not. If you're new around here to subscribe for weekly fall on content, I've been Arifa. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.